Welcome to another segment of the Glint Standard. It is Friday the 13th that we are videoing and recording is very exciting and today we're talking about when you feel like quitting your job. <laughs> so get ready. Craig and I are going to go through some experiences and um, have a lot of fun with this topic, right? Okay. I feel like we're doomed. It's Friday the 13th. Something's going to go off today <laughs> during this podcast, I think. I don't know. But we'll know. do our best and maybe okay. not let that happen. <laughs> I don't think you, I think, but if you, I don't think if you believe in superstitions. Are you superstitious? I kind of am. I'm a little bit, but not like overly. So that's interesting. Okay, so we'll I, never I never split a pole. I never split a pole. We call that bread and butter. If you got, if you're holding hands, the pole comes, you let go, bread and butter, and then you grab again. It's fine, as long as you do that. Really? Yeah. Bread and butter. Yeah. And I call it splitting. We've pole. always done that. Yeah. What about black cats? If they come. Like across. Yeah, I don't worry about cats. I'll, I'll pet it. I think you should worry about a black cat. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> we we digress. See, okay. it's already happening. <laughs> All right, so one of our favorite topics here is talking about culture. Culture, yep. And culture at work, and it's this kind of fun, or maybe it's just fun for me. <laughs> I love looking at human behavior. Uh, so this month we're talking about what to do when you feel like quitting. And I think it's appropriate that we're talking about it because Forbes just reported that January is the month where people look the biggest month, basically, to look for jobs, update resumes. It's like the job boom. It makes sense. I, yeah, I guess with resolutions. Yeah, and I think so. so and I'm going to change my life this year and I'm ready to do something different. And then just, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. And I think we're in a totally different age. My dad used to work at General Motors. He retired there 39 years. I've been like, here for you 24. You see, I have no words. I have no words. <laughs> Oh yeah, you bet. Whew. But and and actually, I always stay at places. I'm pretty loyal. Yeah, pretty loyal. Are. I stay a good chunk of time. But 39 years, nobody does that time. anymore. Nobody does that. No. You know? Can you imagine getting up and doing the same thing for 30? But anyway, um, so I think this is always just a topic now because, mm -hmm. I mean, the 39 year thing is no longer. No, some of that's customer loyal, customer company loyalty back mm -hmm. to the employee and how people have done that and there was nothing at the end like they were promised. And so it makes people, you know, a little more cautious. So, I mean, you get it. Yeah. And it's harder to employ people and, and run a business same time because, you know, people are going to leave. And you, 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 I think the main thing is you got to understand that's just part of the deal yeah. and to try to not make it emotional. Mm -hmm. but we are emotional creatures. We love each other. We hate each other we you know we tolerate each other or whatever that is mm -hmm. right it's just it's just hard you know and you can see it on the other side and say you know i don't have to take it that's the exactly pandemic right. taught us that is exactly right this is what i want out of my career and this is what i'm going to look for and if and you then, can find it get it right and then of course i mean we could go into the generations mm. and how they're different and how they look at things and what they want out of life and um but that's a whole another another topic so but today we're talking about when you feel like quitting and i think you and i we have some good experiences and um things to share on when you just get that feeling i think for everybody to listen and to hear we're going to talk about things that um could get you through that feeling um and we're going to talk about things that will actually get you to the next step. So we're going to do both. Yeah, sure. Right? Because yeah. it could be either or. Right. Yeah. So um, anyway, January, job boom, start of the new year. One of the things that I think that you've started um, here at Glint, and if you follow us, but you can talk more about that, 
is having some sort of daily motivation or affirmation. Uh, and I think we underestimate that. We can, you know, uh, a lot of people get motivated by hearing other people. Mm-hmm. Um, I get inspired by it. motivational quick snippets for me don't do a lot for me, mm-hmm. um, but they do for most people, I think. Mm-hmm. But I get it from really engaging and learning from people. Mm-hmm. And, and certain people, people inspire me for more than statements, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But I think the mm-hmm. statement side of it, sometimes just, it is good to see it sometimes. It just jogs your brain to go, oh, I'm in this I'm in this thing and I can't get my brain to refocus or change path. Yeah. And we do motivational Mondays. Mm-hmm. And it's it's me talking about here's a subject for this week. If you're thinking this, that, and the other, try this maybe. And you know, they're what are they, ten, twenty seconds maybe? Yeah. It they're doesn't pretty have short. to be long. Yeah. Just and hope if that helps one person, it's totally worth doing. Yep. Right? And that's why we do it. You know what else? Repetition. <clears throat> Repetition. So I have this app that I get up and I use every single day. Okay. And the first question it asks you for every day is three things that you're grateful for. And you will hear all types of gurus talk about listing what you're grateful for. And if you just get in the practice of doing it every single day, that it just it does something to your brain. I know, I know there's like that so makes, many people who talk about it. No, it makes great sense. I think. I think at the end of the day, that's one way to get you started, right? Get your yeah. framework right and, and go in and conquer the day. Don't and let the day conquer you. And it's, it's, it's the idea of it, right? It's the idea of it. And it's also something about saying it. You Have you, you know, heard of people who put the, um, what, the, what do you call them, post-its? Oh, yeah, yeah on their, like their mirror. And it's like, I am beautiful. <laughs> okay, why did I get it? <laughs> like, <laughs> I am smart. Yeah. I did nothing wrong. I did it, it, it. And you're supposed to say it. And your 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 affirmation of the day, mm-hmm. right? Because you're manifesting it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and so what we're saying is, you just need to have an affirmation or a motivation. Those yeah. days you feel like quitting, sometimes maybe that's all it takes to get you through that day, and then maybe the next day, and the next day, and the next month. And if you're having a lot of days where you feel like quitting. Maybe you need to quit. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That could be it, right? It's only going to take you so far. What What I'll say just on that topic That's alone. That's true. The, I'll end that topic with it's really important to get unbiased opinion if you feel like quitting. Mm-hmm. What I mean by that is if you talk to your friends and you talk to your family, they're going to support you. Mm-hmm. Whether they think you're right or not, that's what they do mm-hmm. because they want the best for Ooh, you. That's interesting, right? yes. Doesn't necessarily mean that's the best thing. If you really evaluate, why do you really want to quit? And really evaluate that and get some opinions from other people so, that are outside of your normal friend circle or family circle. So you're circle. saying you don't think, like, your family, I said like, <laughs> your family and friends, they're more times than not, they're going to support you 100%. and build you up. Of course they are. That's why you love having them That's why them you go to them. Absolutely. But and that's having, not wrong. Right. But it can also, well, support you no matter what you want to do. And mm-hmm. they may be thinking, you're way off base here. You think it's going to be better somewhere else. You're going to learn that it's not. They're never going to say that to you. Probably mm-hmm. not. I mean, your father, your mother might. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but a lot of people aren't going to be, a lot of people don't have that kind of friend group mm-hmm. that can be brutally honest with you when you need to be brutally honest. Some you need that hard feedback and you won't react to it you'll listen and go okay if they're saying it i really need to listen now if you have those friends and that family Mm -hmm. great so we can add something to this okay then you need to have a professional network possibly that That will give you really good perspective because there a lot of times people in the same situations and go oh actually i'd much rather have your job Mm -hmm. you're like oh really Mm -hmm. this is what i do every day and it could be the thing of responsibility too i I don't get any responsibility. Well, I get too much responsibility. And it, and it helps you at least balance and get some perspective on, maybe I just need to readdress what I'm doing at the job, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or maybe I, it helps me find that next position and go, I really want a position that does this. When I'm interviewing, I know to ask that question. Right. And that's part of preparing to quit yeah. as well, right? Which yeah. is part of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the things that I thought about in this, in this topic was I think that it's healthy to vent. <laughs> I think, and so we're talking about the network. Yeah. 
and we're talking about people that have an unbiased opinion, I think it's okay to vent. Because when you vent, then you leave it there and you move on. It clears the air. It clears something and then you can you can act. So when you feel like quitting and you're feeling frustrated, it's okay to tell somebody and to confide in someone, whether that's a mentor or a coach or another coworker that you trust. Uh, it's okay to tell yeah. your story, hear feedback, but even if you don't hear feedback, just to dump it. Dump it and get it out of your on. head. Just be, I'm, and then I'm be able see to if you feel better. Here. Yeah, that's a really good. Think, I've never really thought about that. Because in that's the office, good. that's that's what folks do. You go to your coworker's office. That's why all the doors are shut. <laughs> <laughs> and you just you know, yeah, those, knew something was happening back there. It, it is most of the time people are venting or they're talking about Harry and Megan. Oh, we're not yeah. going down that water path. cooler talk. <laughs> So, anyway, all right, so start your day with motivation. Also, consult unbiased opinions. Maybe look at your network, get support from your family, but then also get some objective objectivity from your network. Yeah, that's a big peers. decision. I agree. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, one of the things that I think when you feel like quitting, and let's say... You've thought of these scenarios. You've dreamed about it. You're going to walk out. You're going to lay that resignation letter in front of everybody and walk out of the door. I would say biggest thing is remember that reputation matters. How you quit a job matters because your reputation goes with you. So I know we have those big dreams of like, I think of waiting to exhale Angela Bassett like setting her husband's clothes on fire after he had an affair <laughs> do you remember that visual I, okay nobody remember that yeah that's yeah. extreme <laughs> <laughs> I know but whenever you feel like quitting that's what's in your mind you think I'm just I'm done I'm just gonna you know light this place on fire and walk out yeah no <laughs> no I think so important and maybe that's cause I'm a PR person no, I don't, I don't think that that is. I think that's just everybody has those thoughts. Yeah. And if you don't, uh, I don't know if I believe you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's a small world too. Yeah. And that will get around, and that will stop you from getting opportunities. At the end of the day, if you're not getting along in, in the job function, the employer's not happy, the employee's not happy. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with either one of you. It's just not working anymore. Right. Maybe vision change. Maybe a million different reasons why. At the end of the day, you're still people, and hopefully there's enough respect there that on both sides that it can be done the right way. Yeah. Right? And the right way doesn't mean, okay, we're going to give you two or three months to look for a job kind of thing. That's not that's not realistic either. Mm-hmm. I think two weeks is a pretty standard time. Two weeks is standard. Um, everybody thinks they're irreplaceable. They're not. Everybody is replaceable, including myself, mm-hmm. including you, and yeah. anybody at the top. Things will move on. However, it doesn't mean it's not going to be challenging. Right. But that has nothing to do with you if you're leaving. Mm-hmm. So that's not your burden to figure out. But I know if somebody leaves here, we've got to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And that's something I've got to put on my plate and help figure out and get the right team together to do it. That's how. That's what works on our side, right? Yeah. And it stinks sometimes. And you're like, okay, here we go. Now, on the employee, employee side, you go and finally... All these burdens that they had at the job could be client might not just be the showing up every day in the company. It's mm-hmm. it the clients the they work ones. with. It could be the type of work they're doing. So many different things. Yeah. Immediately, that burden's gone because all that responsibility is lifted. Mm-hmm. I mean, it disappears. Mm-hmm. And then two weeks later, you've got to find another job if you don't have one. Most people find the job first and quit. Mm-hmm. Biggest thing I always did. I always quit first, which really freaked my wife out. <laughs> uh, yes. And I did that I'm one like, time. I'm I did like, it one just, time. It's just how I am. Because here's the thing. If you're not happy and you feel like quitting, mm-hmm. people know. Yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. The energy changes. The way you do things changes. Everything does. Quiet quitting is a thing. Mm-hmm. Right now, that approach. People know that you're not checked in anymore. Yeah. So, just move on. Yeah. Right? But can I advise sides, on not doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Said, I, not doing I did it or leaving without another job. <laughs> that would just be Erina's personal advice. Uh, um, that, that's how most people do it. I did it once. Yep, I did it once, and it took me like six months. 
yeah. to find yeah. a job after it, that. It's scary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was scary. It was yeah. scary. But back then, I did not have a child. I wasn't married. It was just me. Responsibilities were a little different yeah. then. So, yeah. So um, that, that was kind of my discussion that that, uh, that Jamie had with me as well is it's, it's different now. It's not just you. And I understand why you do it. And I support that. Mm-hmm. However, it's not how it works anymore. Like, yes, ma'am. I'm on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But. Well, I uh, think it, people do it different ways. Um, I mean, the, the air, my husband's <laughs> dirty laundry, he left TSA. One day, he went, He just was unhappy. Um, that's it. But we survived it. And people get let go that way, too. So yeah. it happens on both sides. So I understand yeah. why people are comfortable doing that sometimes. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, company reputations matter, mm-hmm. right? You want to try to do it the best you can the right way. And employee reputation matters. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure you're doing the best way you can. At the end of the day, if you need to come in and it's just it's done and, and you need to quit that way, quit that way. Yeah. The end yeah. Of the day, you'll recommend recover somehow. Yeah. I don't recommend it. You do it. recover. But if you do need to do it, do it. There's you no right or wrong way to do it. Yeah. Common sense says give a little bit of notice so everybody can prepare a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the best way to maybe look at it. Last thing. Okay. When you're feeling like you're quitting or you want to quit, sometimes it's great to have an exit strategy. And a part of putting together that exit strategy is pulling together your resume and your portfolio. Do you want to speak to that? Because I know that... Part of the glint practices here is if we have satisfied clients or great relationships, we are always going to document that. Yes. Yep. It, it is just part of the workflow. We're going to archive it. We're going to document it. You know, and I don't think people do that. I don't think they do that. It's interesting. I don't know if that's a creative thing because mm. I always did it because I'm a creative, but I, I don't know. I mean, you've always done it though too. Yeah. I mean, you're a creative, but you're more on the written PR, not even even campaign I, type of accomplishment. Yeah, I don't think I did it right? as well. I, I don't think I did it as well as I should have. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, but and back then, like when I started my career, you, I, you take a physical you a piece folder, of paper. Right? Yeah, you had a folder. And you put yeah. it in, you know, now you can do it. I had a huge portfolio under my bed. Yeah. That's where I put everything. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And it, for two reasons. If you're going to quit, it's good to have that so that you can put your best stuff forward mm-hmm. that's not, you know, 20 years old. Mm-hmm. Because you, you don't, because that's not relevant anymore. Right. right? Even if it's your best work, um, usually you need to be a little more forward thinking with oh, the last maybe five years. What have you done that's been great? Hopefully there's stuff there. Mm-hmm. But if you're consistently putting those achievements uh, portfolio work, writing samples, whatever those are, um, in OneDrive. There's yes. so many free places to put Dropbox, it. Dropbox, just well, some sort of repository. Yeah, and, and visit it every, go back and visit it every year. You'll be amazed how different things are really in a year's do. time. And, and, and get proud. rid of the old stuff if yep. you need to, or archive some of that so you can go back 10 years ago and go, oh, I remember when I did that and I was starting out. Right. It's easy to forget. So I would say, Archive all your stuff, mm-hmm. and then when you're ready to quit, get that portfolio together. Mm-hmm. Portfolio doesn't necessarily mean artwork, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever your or your achievements it, or are, keep it updated. Keep it updated, yeah. and bring your best five pieces forward. Mm-hmm. You don't need to see, you know, twenty different things. It just means you're you're grabbing us, you know, right. grabbing us or you, whatever that is. Because you never know when, if you were to meet somebody on the street and they're like, okay, I, you know, I want to see samples of your work. It needs to be ready. You, you can't say, I need a couple of days to pull it together. Yeah, Not yeah. in this environment. Not resume anymore. updated as well. Yeah. And it's always good when you're done with your resume, then give that to a close friend mm-hmm. or family that's very supportive of you, who have no, who's known you for a while in the role you've been in, because they will fluff that better than you can. Yeah. People do not do a good job of really expounding on their true skill sets. Mm-hmm. An outside perspective on that will help. Mm-hmm. So in that regard, share that mm-hmm. <laughs> and have them help you. And you do the same for them. Right. Um, that'll get your resume where it needs to be. And if somebody says, yeah, great, here's an opportunity, because sometimes they just fall in your lap, oh, I'll get you something tomorrow. And you do. And, then, and, and it's exactly and what they them. need. Yeah. You're not rushing to put something together, making mistakes, and it's not your best foot forward. Mm-hmm. One, they're like, this is polished, this is good, they're organized, they're on top of it. Who doesn't want that person? Mm-hmm. So Ooh, that's true. Just be prepared, like, I guess. Is that is key, very, right? very true. 
Yeah, it's um, so important. I think that is probably the most important thing. And, and a tip to start this tomorrow, you know, I like things you can do today, tomorrow, you know, um, create a folder on your desktop tonight, yeah, today. Yeah. And just drag not, not your work folder, <laughs> not your <laughs> your personal one. Yes, your personal one. If some reason you are let go or you quit, you got to remember to get that. That's true. And people don't That's true. put it put it on OneDrive or put it on Dropbox or some sort of repository, and just start dumping stuff in. It doesn't have to be organized yet. Maybe then set the time to organize it for sure a month from now or something like that. Right? Just start dragging. The Just one drag. thing I will say, though, be careful with copyright. No. Oh. Especially like in our industry. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the work, it's copyright protected mm -hmm. for the agency. Mm -hmm. So you need to get permission if you're going to be showing portfolio work. You know when the best time to ask for that is? When? When the client's really happy with the work you just did. <laughs> oh, I'd love to add that to my portfolio. That's great. Go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. If you're getting ready to quit, you know what? We don't want you throwing all that work out there. We don't really know what your plan is with that. I mean, it's going to be a different kind of conversation. Yeah. So that's it. That's pretty good. key. Get permission for things. And even if you're an accountant mm -hmm. or you're a CFO or something like that, you need to be saving those pivot tables. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> you know, you need to demonstrate that you can do that skill and save those spreadsheets if, if it's not data that well you can blur out certain data, data yeah points, right? show that you can do yeah. it you know so anyway all right so when you feel like quitting i think we did it yeah. <laughs> i don't know i think we gave a few things that you could uh do to get past the feeling and yeah. a couple of things that you could actually do to prepare yourself to yeah. put yourself back in the you know back in the recruitment pool yeah, I think at the end of the day, um, quitting's hard. It's very disruptive. Yeah. So at the end of the day, and employers don't want that to happen. Employees don't want that to happen. It's a natural evolution of things sometimes. So when it happens, do it the right way. Yeah. Um, loyalty is a hard thing these days. People just don't have it for whatever reason. Yeah, um, things change. Companies don't times tend to have change. it either. So... You just got to look at the environment for what it is, understand that's mm -hmm. part of it. And I think from for our industry, what I've noticed is the number one reason people job jump is to job jump to get more money. Okay. That's why. So every, that's why you look at resumes and there's one year of experience, there's two years of experience, there's, mm -hmm. you know, another year after that and there's no longevity mm -hmm. uh, because it's hard in our industry to stick with it long enough to get that payoff. Especially when you're coming out of school. Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. you'll job jump. And a lot of times you'll job jump into something that's terrible, but it's paying you 20 grand more. And as you get older, you realize it's not worth it. We could talk But you about don't realize it for until it's like, older. Um, so, so just think about those things. In the cycles of life, you know? what's important. Yeah. What's important at one point. You quit your job and get rid of all your burdens. Guess what? Your next job is going to be exciting for about three or four weeks. And then you're going to have all those burdens again. It's just the nature of things. So you, you can't quit every time it gets hard. And that, that happens sometimes, too. Mm -hmm. You just got to work through it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to work through it. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Like, I feel like we're on the front porch. And yeah. we're rocking in our rocking chair. I would chairs. love to be in a rocking chair in a <laughs> front like, porch. I love that. You know. And, you know, this is what you should do. But, man, I, I, I think having this experience means something. It matters. It matters. At the end of the day, it is still you, and you mm -hmm. are a person. And if you feel like you need to quit and you find something else, or, or change careers completely, mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. You need to. Mm -hmm. That's why I started this business. Yeah. Right? I yeah. wasn't unhappy at my jobs. I just needed more. Just needed more. And I couldn't get it where I was, and that's why I moved on to this. And you know, it was a huge hit, a huge burden, but look what it's done for us now. Yeah. So sometimes taking a step back by quitting can be a really good thing yeah. so just think about all that before you do recover people recover yeah all right everybody so we talked about quitting you can find us on any social media platform that you like find us on youtube this concludes our glint standard on friday the 13th 
Go quit. No. Or no. don't or don't no, go or quit. Which, think about way. the feeling. Think about the feeling. I don't know. Think about it. Let it marinate. Don't quit. All right. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this episode of the Glint Standard. You can see more episodes here. Or click the logo below to follow our channel. And please hit the thumbs up if you like this episode.